Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be looking at part 2 of the complete guide to create enchantment industry 1.21.1 where we'll be looking through all the super enchanting stuff. Now if you haven't watched part 1, make sure you go and watch it so you have all your basic information about this mod. And without further ado, let's get started. At the end of part 1, we looked at the Blaze Enchanter and the Blaze Forger. And when it comes to super enchanting, it's all about them once again. So in the, this chest, I got myself the Cake O Enchanting and the Cake Slice O Enchanting. These are the things that you will need to super power your Blaze Enchanter and your Blaze Forger so they go Hyper XP mode. It is important to note that when you use these cakes of the super enchanting stuff, um, you no longer need to pump normal experience into them. So by simply getting the cake, you can right click them and they'll now be super enchanting mode. You see that when using an entire cake, you'll give a liquid experience of one bucket and when you use the slice you get 250 millibuckets now how do you get these cake slices then so firstly similar to blaze cake you need a cake base to make the cake base you'll need sugar lapis and an egg to get over press press it and you'll get a cake base of enchanting. Next just get some experience spouted on it and you get yourself a cake of enchanting. To get the cake slice simply put it onto a mechanical saw and you get four slice. Once you get your cake of enchanting we can start super enchanting. Over here I've got two blaze enchanter and if I just feed them some cake of enchanting You'll see that now the filter on the Blaze Enchanter, if you right click on it, can now go above 30 levels all the way to level 60. So let's just crank it all the way up. Over here you'll see that there's a lightning rod here. The reason that's here is because in the super enchanting mode, whenever the super enchanter performs any action, it'll summon lightning and if they you don't have any protection the lightning will kill the blaze making you very very sad so you just want to put a lightning rod above the blaze enchanter somewhere nearby so it can absorb the lightning now you notice that when you now try to click an item on it it'll set invalid enchanting item so you can no longer do your normal enchanting when it is in the super enchanting mode. This goes to the same with your enchanting template. So even if I set a filter, it will no longer accept my enchanting template. So what it actually works with now is the super enchanting template. So let's take a look at how it works. When it comes to super enchanting, you now no longer use your normal enchanting template but use the super enchanting te template as said. And the way you get it is actually quite interesting, so let's take a look at it. Over here we have some block of experience, and in order to make your super enchanting template, you need to first turn these block of experience into block of super experience, and the way they transform is through lightning. So over here I got a channeling trident. So if I set the weather to thundering, okay, and as you can see here, after the lightning, the normal block of experience turns into a block of super experience, and the pattern it generates will be random. Now once you've obtained the block of super experience, you want to get this block under a press just like the block of experience over there and you get yourself a super enchanting template. One thing you may have realized is that it is quite difficult for you to get 
a constant supply of super experience as thunderstorms are very rare. So one thing you could do is to exploit the fact that the blaze enchanter will summon lightning when it super enchants an item. So the way you do it is that you place a 3 by 3 platform of block of experience behind the blaze enchanter with a lightning rod on top. Then behind it you have a contraption that will break these um, blocks of experience and replace them after you have done your lightning strike. Keep in mind to put your minecart a little further away from the lightning rod at, as the lightning can destroy the minecart. So to use this machine you want to get your Keiko enchanting and your first super enchanting template. Now you want to get your blaze enchanter and just feed it a few of the cakes. And down in the filter, you want to make sure that the enchanting level is only level 1 because this is just a process of farming the lightning. So all these super enchanting templates is just going to give you trash enchants. So once you've done that, give your super enchanting template to the blaze enchanter. And wait for the lightning. Boom. The lightning has struck and this template is absolutely useless so you can just simply just disenchant this template and just reuse it constantly. So now we've got some of these blocks. If I press this button here, I'll activate the minecart and it'll automatically break all of the blocks. Now since this is a set timed amount of time for the blaze enchanter to work, you can simply hook this up onto a clock and you can generate a bunch of super enchant, super experience very easily. And that is how you can farm super experience block. Once you now have a good supply of super enchanting template, you can now start making your super set. So over here I've got four blaze enchanter. I'm gonna set one of them to be level 60, one of them to be level 50, one of them to be level 40, and one to be level 30. So let's see what kind of enchants we'll get. If you're enjoying the video so far, please make sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out a ton. And without further ado, let's see what enchants we got. So, over here. Um, I think one of them, I picked it up a bit too early, so it didn't really enchant. But for the rest of it, I got two Unbreaking 3 and a Protection 4 book. So, as you can see here, it can give you just, it's literally just the basic enchants. So, why do we need to use the Blaze Enchanter in the Super Mode instead of just normally enchanting them, when we can also get the same enchant? And the reason for that is because of the Blaze Forger. The Blaze Forger now allows you to go one above the max level of enchant. So for example, you can get Efficiency 6 by using two Efficiency 5 template. The problem is that when it is in the super mode, it only accepts super enchanting template which means it does not accept two efficiency 5 normal template, which means it forces you to use Blaze Enchanter in a super mode, which is why I've just got these normal enchants. But without further ado, we can now just simply put our two efficiency 5 super template to this Blaze Forger, and we can now get Efficiency 6. Heck yeah. And with that, Efficiency 6. Easy. The next usage is to combine two um, conflicting enchants. So here we have a Sharpness 5 and a Smite 5. Now, usually, you can only apply... You can only choose between Smite or Sharpness. You cannot have both together. But with the Blaze Forger, 
we can chuck those stupid rules out the window and we can get whatever combination of enchants we wanted. And just like that, we have a Sharpness 5 Smite 5 template. Now once you have combined all your cursed um, enchants into a template, you now want to apply it to your sword. A quick note is that you cannot combine this using a normal blaze forger or an anvil. If I use this anvil here, you'll see that, for example, the smite will be deleted from this template. So we don't want to do that, and which means we'll have to use a blaze forger. So once again, just give it your items and it'll enchant it for you. One quick thing I've um, found out during the testing is that if your enchanting template list of enchants is a bit too long, then there's a chance that the Blaze Forger will not accept that item. I guess it's just the data or something with the code, but it just doesn't work. So you don't want to apply them when there's a big list of enchants on a enchanting template. Instead, you want to just like apply them a few at a time. And I found out like I found that if you apply them a few at a time, you can get up to like 10 enchants on a single item and it'll still be fine. But if you apply them all at once, then they'll sometimes just fail and like refuse to combine them. So keep that in mind. And just like that, I got myself a Sharpness 6 Smite 6 Looting for an Unbreaking for Diamond Sword. And that about wraps up for today's video. We've looked at all of how you can use Super Enchanting in Create Enchanting Industry. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the comments. And if you enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out a ton. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye now.